hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is marissa and i am a stay-at-home mom of two little kids i'm also a military wife so we move quite around quite often on my channel you'll find a lot of motherhood a lot of day in the life vlogs a lot of videos trying to get through motherhood one day at a time today's video is going to be a little bit different because i'm going to be doing a clean with me trying to give you guys and myself a little bit of motivation to clean so i'm going to go ahead and stop talking and just jump right into the video all right, you guys so the first thing i'm doing here is just giving you guys an overview of the pantry of what it looks like right now everything is really unorganized nothing is in a good place there's no organization in here so i'm gonna go ahead and take everything out lay everything out on the counter so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't Here is where I found an empty box. I don't know if my husband is the only husband that does this, but he will take something out and just leave the empty box there instead of putting it in the trash can. So now that the pantry is empty, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down and start wiping down the shelves before I start trying to place the baskets and figure out where I wanna put them. I got these baskets at Walmart and I'm actually gonna leave the tags on them because I wanna make sure that I actually wanna keep them. These are not the baskets that I would ideally want for this pantry, but right now I'm trying to do things on a budget. And here I'm just going to go ahead and organize the kids' snack basket. I'm taking everything out of this jar and then just placing it in this basket here. Now I am moving on to the stove. You guys, if you're new here, we live in military housing. We are currently renting a house here on the military base that we live on. And I absolutely hate these stoves. As you can see, they are very dirty and very stained. I always do the best I can to scrub them down and keep them clean. But as you can see near the burners, they're really, really like orange, brown, just really, really beaten up. So. If you have any tips on what I can use to try to get this stuff off, let me know because I do use this cleaner here that I get from Meloka and it does a pretty good job, but you guys will see once I'm done cleaning it, it still has like these stains on them. So if you have a good cleaner, let me know because I just don't like these stoves. my daughter noticing what I was doing in the kitchen so she just came to see what I was doing and then I was like okay you want to help mommy clean you can help me so right here she's just helping me wipe down the front of the stove and then she realizes that she doesn't want to help me clean and then she just goes back to watching cartoons I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine and right here i'm just folding towels because i was doing laundry as well in between cleaning the kitchen i just find it to be super helpful to just fold or hang your clothes as soon as they're done drying and not just letting them sit there Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard. 
now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the fridge i'm just gonna take everything out wipe down all of the shelves spray everything down so it can be all clean and disinfected it is so weird seeing coffee in my fridge because i'm actually doing a fast right now for the whole month of september where i don't drink any coffee only water and it's just so weird to look back at this footage and just see that i had a coffee in the fridge but it's okay i will see coffee again in october so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and clean everything out and get this fridge clean mopping the floor and you guys at this point i was just so done i just wanted to be done cleaning i wanted to shower i was sweaty i smelled so bad so at this point i was just like girl let's just get this done so i can shower I am finally done with the kitchen right here i'm just showing you guys the after of the pantry i don't love these baskets i would love to have those brown ones that everybody has in their pantries but those are a little bit expensive and like i said earlier i'm just working with what i got but i do love how the pantry turned out it looks a lot better the fridge looks a lot cleaner it is ready to go for me to go get groceries staying at home like i don't feel affection let me know if you guys like this rug here that I put in front of the stove. I feel like the kitchen just needed something because these military housing floors are just really not it. But I'm trying to do the best I can with what I have. So let me know if I should leave it here or if I should move it. Alright you guys, so here are my couches. I am going to deep clean every single cushion and even the pillows. Um, I'm also going to do this part here because if you can see, um, my daughter got the highlighter and she highlighted everything right here. So hopefully this can come off um, because obviously you can see this. This is the machine that I'm going to be using here, the little green Bissell cleaner. I've never used it before, but I'm super excited. I'm so grateful that my neighbor actually went ahead and let me borrow it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and then we'll start cleaning the couches. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing. 
I just want to say that cleaning my couch cushions was so satisfying. I was so happy and so grateful that I was able to do this. I have not cleaned these couches in four years since we bought them and they have just gotten so nasty. So many people have been sitting on them. Now that we have kids, you know, there's spills, juice, snacks, all of the things. And so just being able to clean them was so satisfying. It hurt my arm because let me just tell you, this took a lot of arm muscle and I thought it was gonna be a quick one, two hours to do this and it took me all day to get this done. And you guys will see in a little bit here, I'll show you guys the brush head of just how dirty it got. But let me just tell you, after it was done, I was just so happy and just so, so grateful. So I'm all done cleaning the couch cushions and I even did the pillows from the couch. And this is what is left over. That is so gross. That's really gross. So yeah, this is from four years of not cleaning my couches, not once. Um, so the couch cushions and the pillows are drying now. that everything is put back together now so now i'm gonna go ahead and hang out with my kids all right you guys so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this little cleaning motivation video and if you guys want me to do more of these just go ahead and leave comments down below of what you want me to clean next thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in the next video